pull over after running a stop sign. Police tell us he accelerated to speeds above 100 miles an hour. He later got out of his car, left his one-year-old daughter in that car, and ran into a mobile home. He surrendered about five minutes later. One man's motorcycle trip across the country is more than just a personal feat of thousands of miles on two wheels. Amanda Lebro explains it's a chance to honor his late wife and give others battling cancer the knowledge he wishes he had. Revving for resources, David Cowan spent nearly 60 days on these two wheels, raising awareness about resources available to those battling cancer. I've been on the road by myself, and, and that's kind of symbolic of the journey that people battling cancer go on. You know, every day you're out there by yourself, you're doing it. There, there's help, there's support, there's family, there's friends. There's all kinds of things out there to help you along. But every day you're doing it by yourself. Cowan knows what it's like to feel alone after a cancer diagnosis. His wife, Allison, was unexpectedly diagnosed with a rare, aggressive kind of melanoma in 2010 after a routine procedure by a doctor who wasn't an oncologist. We didn't even know what questions to ask. And so at that point, uh, you know, shaken and stirred, we went home and got on the internet, and, and that almost made things worse. Cowan lost Allison ten and a half months later, but decided he didn't want others left searching the internet aimlessly for answers. He started Ali's Alliance, a free database to connect those with cancer to treatment providers, everyone from doctors to dog walkers, to help ease the diagnosis. It makes it easier for the people that need you to find you, and it's free. As he's traveled the four corners of the country, more than 14,000 miles shared between him and his Harley, it isn't his own story that he thinks of. When I first started the Allies Alliance project, it was about the experience that I had had. It was uh, in a way to memorialize my wife and keep her memory alive. Um, and that was early on. As, as the project has gone on, it's about the cancer community. And at every stop, he plants a red knot, representing the tying together of that community to services across the country. Amanda Lebro, WTOC News. Cowan hopes to double the number of providers listed in the Alley's Alliance website through this ride. If you want more information about the services, you can head over to our website, WTOC.com, for details on how to sign up and get connected. Several groups coming together for the Tybee Equality Expo and Soiree. The event was meant to provide outreach to the LGBTQ community and to make sure they're treated equally. One of those in attendance was congressional candidate Lisa Ring. She's running for Georgia's District 1 seat, currently held by Buddy Carter.